What's going on guys, Ozio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new footies Ferran Torres card to review and he is looking insane. He has got 99 pace with 97 dribbling, 92 shooting, 96 passing and 81 physicals. He's a 6 foot player with high medium work rates, 5 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. They gave Ferran Torres a skill move upgrade. It kind of makes you question why they didn't give Coleman a skill move or weak for upgrade. I think a weak for upgrade on Coleman would have been insane, but they left him at 4-4. Either way, the chem style, marksman. Marksman chem style looks so good on him. Because the pace is already maxed out, you want to try to upgrade the shooting, the dribbling, and the physicals. And the marksman does exactly that really nicely. So yeah, the pace, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. You can't get better. The shooting stats look out of this world. He's got 97 attacking positioning with 99 finishing, 98 shot power, 99 long shots, 84 volleys with 83 penalties. And he has got both shooting traits. They gave him the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait. Like what are EA doing? They're juicing up this card really nicely. The passing ability looks beautiful. The dribbling ability looks amazing as well. And keep in mind, he now has five star skill moves. His physicals look so good. 99 jumping, 95 heading accuracy. He hasn't got the power header trait, but he is a six foot player, which means he's going to give you a really nice heading ability. He has got 93 stamina as well with 94 strength and 56 aggression. The aggression is a little bit low, but that 94 strength looks amazing. Now the links. He isn't a premium footy, so he doesn't get a strong link with everyone in the La Liga, but he plays for Barcelona and he's Spanish. Yeah, the links are definitely up there. You can link him up with a player like Dembele. You can obviously link him up with like Lodi, Cunha, because Lodi and Cunha are both premium footies as well. So yeah, the links, they aren't an issue. Positions. I will be playing Ferran Torres in three positions. Down the line, striker, and the cam position as well. I really do want to try him cam because those passing stats look so good. So I feel like he'll be very nice in the cam position as well. So let's get into the games and let's see how good footies Ferran Torres is going to be. See if I get this into Mane. There you go. Mane's came short. Let's go for a scoop turn. Ferran Torres. I see he's trying to come short as well. Go on. Near post maybe. Oh, it wasn't too bad of a shot, especially under pressure as well. I must admit, though, that touch when trying to get around a corner was a little bit loose. Is he inside the box? No, he isn't. He's outside the box. But I am going to go for the near post here. Come on, Torres. Win this one. you got amazing jumping. You're six foot as well. And he ends up losing a header. I'm not sure who he lost the header to. But yeah, that was not good enough. There's a wide open gap there. And Ferran Torres has found it. Not an amazing touch again. But we do so well. Look at that. No, the weaker foot, the four-star weak foot, just letting us down there. Once again, though, the touch, the first initial touch that he took wasn't great, but we recovered with the reverse elastico. And yeah, I was definitely expecting a better shot. Let's see if we can hit him towards the near post here. Oh, that's decent. Go on. No, he ends up losing a header to Marquinhos. I'm going to try to go for a finish or a Ferran Torres. He's in good space here. And uh, yeah, look at that. I think that was on the volley as well, no? I wanted to see the replay. I'm pretty sure it was on the volley. Can I get it in between those two? I can. Oh, that's a good touch. Nice strength as well. Go on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's go for maybe a Magidi spin or a Berber. Doesn't really matter. I'll be honest, you guys. I don't think it was needed. No, I was doing him dirty there. I don't think it was needed because he actually got round him all by himself. Oh, he screwed up. Near post. No, I mistimed it. I put so much power into that as well. Let's see if we can get that driven into the middle there. That's perfect. Nice little flick. I'll be honest, didn't really mean it, but it's all good. We still got the ball with him. I'm trying to maybe create an angle here to just go inside the box, shoot towards a near post. I'm loving this skill moves. Like his left stick dribbling has been good, but there definitely is a few touches in there that don't look amazing, let's say. But his skill moves, <laughs> that's coming off really quick and it's coming off nicely and smooth as well. Uh, let's go near post. Torres, come on. He's not going to win it. Yeah, Marquinhos just gets up there, doesn't he? I'm just going to chip this into him. I see he's on the edge of the box there, and I know he's tall. I know he's strong as well. So I'm allowed to do stuff like that, knowing that he can just back into the player and uh, kind of hold him off. Now, I wasn't really expecting him to put the play onto the ground, but we will take it, and that is a very good shot from him. Get that ball, Rafinha. That's beautiful. Torres, keep it running. Keep it running. I think he's going to push with Marquinhos. There you go. Torres towards a near post. He uses the outside foot. Well, my opponent does really well there to bring out their keeper. If I knew he was going to bring out the keeper, I would have been a bit more composed, let's say, and uh, just tried to ball roll around him. 
Well, I had no idea. I thought he was going to stay in the goal. Let's go near post. There's so many players at the near post. I don't think he's going to win it. Hold on, though. Hold on. Okay, I doubted him. He won it against Suarez as well, but it wasn't a great header. I've just sent him on a run. I'm going to go for it, though. That's a perfect through ball. That's a good run as well. No way. That touch. The thing is, right, I'm not even going to blame him for that because that's EA. That is EA wanting the player to catch up there and screw up that attack. Like, he's run. He's paced to get in behind. It was perfect. I did tell him to make that run, though, but still, the pace to get in behind was incredible. It's just... How he catches up there is ridiculous. Let's go for a finesse shot. We're so far out, but okay, it flies in. Another finesse shot. His finesse shots look very good. Is he going to push? He does, but he didn't like fully commit. Hold on, though. I think I've got him on the outside foot. I don't have him on the outside foot, but a normal power shot from what? 28, 27 yards out just flies in. And yeah, this guy's had it off. What is that for a shot? That's insane. Can settle. Make that run. There you go. That's perfect. Ferran Torres is coming over as well. Kind of was hoping he was going to make a run up there. So I had to pass it early because I was really, I was like kind of noticed that he was making a run down, which is a little bit questionable saying the gap is, you know, up, let's say. But hey, we move. It is where it is. The movement there wasn't incredible, I'll be honest. But the shot with the weaker foot was solid. You're for the gap there. That's perfect. Ferran Torres really likes to come short. That's what I'm noticing. Like, he isn't too aggressive. He does definitely make runs in behind. But look at him right there. Just wanting to get that ball to his feet. I reckon he'll probably give me another passing option here. I know he won't because I see CR7 and Mane being aggressive. So, yeah, Ferran Torres did the right thing just by sitting back there. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate to get the shot. I think that was going in as well. I'm just going to get him to run onto it. If the player does commit, always oh, commit late. Let's go for this. Green timed. I was kind of hoping you would like dip over the keeper. I don't want to go too far forward of Varan because you guys know his dribbling ability. It ain't great. Ferran Torres, you're going to make that run. Once again, just being a little bit too passive there. But we have got the jam. We have got the ball. He ain't came towards us. He's marking CR7. He's so focused on guarding or marking, sorry, CR7 that he's not even... Like, look at him. He's not even pushing towards us. And what a finish towards that near post. And he's had enough as well. I'm going to see if I can play that line to him. There you go. That's perfect. He should easily get onto that. Maybe go for a roulette. That is not a roulette. That is the roulette. No way. No one is making a run into that wide open gap. Like Ferran Torres makes that run down the line. He's through really nicely. We do so well to uh, even get past two players there. And then still, no one gives us a passing option. Torres, you're going to make a run for that gap? He kind of does. That's a great touch and turn, though. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Chiellini. Really? Really, Chiellini. You're going to catch up to someone that's got 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed like that. Like this end of an era Chiellini card, man. He is so good. I'm going to drive in that. Is he onside, though? That's what I want to know. He is onside. So it, it needs to be close. There's no way. I thought he was slightly offside. What a finish, though. We green timed it far corner, and it's another person that's quit the game. Let's see, we go for McGee's been cancelled. There you go. Ferran Torres, nice passing option. Good power shot into that near post on that weaker foot as well. Great positioning. He noticed that I wanted him to come short there, and he got himself in front of the defender really good. I just sent Diaz on a run. We're going to test out his long pass. And that is a very good pass. For a second, I thought that was going to go out of play because it looked like it was not a good pass at all, but it had a lot of curve on it. Nice little fake shot to get away from the player. Use your pace, use your strength. There you go, Diaz. That's a good run. That's a good pass. But Cole, out of all players, Cole is tracking back there and he intercepts it. I like how he passed that ball under pressure and it was still like solid. It wasn't a bad pass at all. Maybe try to go for like a finesse shot. I think he's going to read. Hold on. Nah, he's reading that finesse shot a little bit too hard. We've done so well, though. Great shielding. Into the inside. No, the extra pass. The extra pass to Mane was on. If I could just play the pass, we get ourselves a goal. You see what I mean about his skill moves, though? His skill moves come off so quick. That's a good run from Diaz. Let's go for that pass again. Yeah, perfect. On that weaker foot as well, on that four-star weak foot, he's playing a pass like that. You can just tell on the stronger foot, the passing is going to be the exact same. And I'm trying to create maybe a finesse or angle. There you go. Fake it out there. Go round him. Green timed. The animation, it looked like it was going to have way more power than what it actually had. He's moved the keeper. I wanted to go like near post here. Should we go back stick? The issue is with going back stick here, 
is I think Chiellini might react to it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no, he doesn't. Cordoba. <gasps> we actually score a header. I thought Chiellini was going to react to it and just automatically come over. He doesn't, and we get ourselves a goal. Maybe a quick one, too. See if he's going to push out towards me. He does. He does a stupid slide tackle. What is he going to do? Okay, boys. I thought I, I thought I screwed up for a second, I'll be honest to you guys. I saw he was moving a keeper, but he stopped, so I thought he was then going to bring him out. He didn't. I was kind of in a sticky situation, let's say, but we got out of it and we got that goal. So it is time to give my final thoughts on a card. We ended up playing five games of Ferran Torres and we scored 10 goals in those five games. His shooting ability on that stronger foot was top tier. The power shot flying in, the finesse shot flying in, the shooting on the left foot though, it's a four-star week for at the end of the day. You guys know how it is. Sometimes it can go right into the corner with a ridiculous amount of power. Other times it will go down the middle and then other times it won't even hit the target. So yeah, the four-star weak foot was a little bit questionable, I must admit, but the shot on the stronger foot was insane. The pace, the only player he couldn't outpace was end of an era Chiellini. Other than that, he was easily getting in behind. The passing ability, top tier as well. I love the fact that even though he was under pressure in some situations that he was in, the pass was still spot on. The dribbling ability, the left stick dribbling on this card is good, but it isn't up to the level of like Rodrigo, Neymar, Vinny. It isn't that good. And you definitely do notice a few touches that don't look right, let's say. A few a few touches that is going a little bit too far away from his body. But the dri not the dribbling ability, sorry, the skill moves. The skill moves, oh my god, they came off so quick. The elastico, the, the reverse elastico, the roulette, the... What else can we say? The, the La Coqueta that we was pulling out was crazy quick. Crazy, crazy quick. And it just allowed me to get past players instantly. So yeah, I love the skill moves with him. The left stick dribbling though, it definitely isn't up there with the best I have seen. The physicals, the strength, wow. Just straight up, wow. He was holding off players for fun. He was backing into them. In one situation, he even backed into, I believe it was Marquinhos and put him onto the ground. So the strength, you can definitely tell it is 94. The heading ability, it was good, but it wasn't anything top tier. It definitely isn't as good as like Bale, CR7. It's not that good, right? Uh, he was losing a few headers to Marquinhos, but there was one right at the end that he won a header against Cordoba, which definitely is expected, right? And he ended up scoring it. But even though he won the header, the header itself wasn't anything top tier, right? Like you guys saw it. It went straight down the middle. Didn't have a lot of power into it either. But it went into the back of the net. So I'm not complaining too much. It's just, yeah, his heading ability isn't anything outstanding. Now the price, 115k. 115k for this card. 100% is worth it. I would have thought this card would have gone for at least like 200k min as an SPC. 115k is a bargain for this card. Now, do I believe he's as good as someone like Bale, end of an era Bale, or as good as someone like Showdown Rodrigo? Let's compare him to Bale first, okay? So, he's left stick dribbling. I do believe it's better than Bale's. Mm, it, they're quite similar. They're quite similar. Bale does have moments that he does take a weird touch time to time, and it's the exact same thing as Ferran Torres. And the skill moves do come off as quickly as each other, let's say. The thing is, though, the reason I'll take Bale over this Ferran Torres card is because I feel like his shooting ability is better. Like, even though Ferran Torres' shooting ability is good, it's just there's something about Bale that just makes the ball just fly into the back of the net. Like, the amount of power behind Bale's shots are just simply ridiculous. And the power shots with Ferran Torres was good, but it just wasn't on Bale's level. And the heading ability as well. Bale's heading ability is a joke. Like, Ferran Torres, as I said, his heading ability is good, but it's not up to, the you know, Bale's level, let's say. So, yeah, for me, Bale is better than this Ferran Torres card. Would I say this card, though, is better than Showdown Rodrigo? It kind of depends on your playstyle. If you want more of a physical presence, then Ferran Torres is the way to go. But if you want more of an agile player, then Rodrigo is the way to go. It really does depend on your play style. Now, where does Footy's Ferran Torres go in the attacks tier list? As I said, he is a very good card, and for the price, you can't go wrong, right? But I don't think he's S tier. I don't think he's up there with the best attackers in this game. So I am going to put Footy's Ferran Torres in the A+. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, Peace.